Good morning. Oh no, afternoon actually. Hi. My name is Jo with Jo Wise Leadership and today we're going to have a bit of a chat about magnificence. So I'm just going to wait for a few people to come on and share with a couple of my pages. So thanks for your patience. I won't be a moment and we'll get kicked off. I've got a couple of people coming on. Hello. Please say hi when you get here. Um, so I know who I'm, who's watching. And I'll just share with my other page and we'll get kicked off. All right. So hello, all right, have I got you back, right? <laughs> um, hi, my name is Joe Wise and today we're having a bit of a chat about your magnificence and my magnificence as well. Um, I just had, um, I've had a fabulous day today. I met up with um, a new, uh, a lady that I met recently um, and we're having conversations about working together. I've spoken to two of my clients as well in coaching sessions today in between other bits and pieces and it's been a, it's been a really awesome day. It's, I'm feeling inspired and excited by you know, the conversations that, we've, that I've been having and what I've been working on today. And it's interesting because something that came up in the three conversations that we had today was about people, sort of people that I'm speaking to. One of the things that I noticed was them not being able to see their own magnificence. So what is magnificence? Well, our own magnificence is the things that make us shine, the things that light us up, the things that are important to us, the things that we love. Um, anything that, you know, our strengths, any of the stuff I think that makes us dazzle. And it was interesting when I was chatting, you know, to the people that I was chatting to today, um, it came up a couple of times where I actually stopped them and went, hey, hey, hang on, what, what, what were you just talking about then? Did you recognize that that's actually something that you do exceptionally well and that people around you do not necessarily do exceptionally well? Um, hi, Anne-Marie, nice to see you. And on every occasion, they said, well, no, no, I've never really thought about it like that. Or no, no, it's not. It's just something that I like to do or underplayed what I was saying. So as a coach, one of my jobs is to allow, well, not allow, but um, to help people, I guess, get access to their magnificence. Um, you know, we've all got so much to offer. We all have, you know, so many brilliant things that we do. Um, we add so much value. We, you know, you know the people that I work with. They, they love the things they do. They do things that are very important to them. And when I'm having conversations with people, I love being able to identify that in in people's language as well. But it's interesting because when we don't see our own magnificence, when we don't see our own sparkle and the things that make us shine, we can actually be missing out on a huge part of the parcel. So what I mean by that is, I know when I'm forgetting my own magnificence, I know that that's the, era, the times when my confidence might drop down a bit, um, my ability to move forward really well will drop a little bit, um, I may not be as bold as I might be other times, um, it sort of restricts my ability to really jump into things a wholly, you know, with my whole being 100%. Hi Carly, nice to see you today. Um, so when I'm not seeing my magnificence and I notice with my clients, when my clients aren't seeing their magnificence, the things that make them shine, the things that they're truly great at, the things that individually set them aside from everybody else, then, you know, they have effects as well. Confidence dropping, um, you know, inability to move forward, not being able to take the action that they want to take so much. So those things alone, as well as all of the other things that it does, should be enough to motivate us to be able to see our own magnificence, I hope. Hi, Gian, nice to see you. Um, because when we are, you know, when we do allow ourselves to grab hold of and feel and be in our own magnificence, then it's like, I know when I'm totally in that zone and I'm spending a lot of time in that zone, I start saying things and start thinking things to myself like, you know, touch me, you'll turn to gold. Um, because it feels like everything that I touch is an opportunity, is a fabulous 
um, you know, is amazing, is incredible, is shining, is sparkling, you know. So it's it's sort of that type of mindset. So, um, you know, when I'm room, when I'm in touch with my own magnificence, the things I'm good at, I'm working in my area of genius. I'm acting bolder, you know. I'm braver with the steps that I take. I trust myself more. So, with all of that in mind, I just wanted to have a very short Facebook Live this afternoon to remind you to see your own magnificence, for you to be able to see that yourself, for you to be not only seeing it, noticing it, but go out there and actively look for the things that make you magnificent, the, this, your sweet spot, the things that make you unique in that special way, areas where you care for things that other people don't care about, where you add value in particular areas where other people don't in that way. You know, there's so many different areas of where our magnificence comes out. And I know for myself, um, honing in on the things that I'm really good at, that I love and that give me passion and light me up, when I really hone in on those things and I get clear on those things and I make a choice around doing those things more often, that has such an impact on the other areas of my life. It allows me to shine in other areas that I didn't, you know, maybe that I wasn't shining as brightly in before. So that's all I wanted to say today. It is a super, super quick Facebook Live today. Um, I'm going to head off and go and get my son from school today. I normally do my Facebook Lives in the morning, um, but this morning I was having such great conversations, I didn't fit it in. So I thought I'd do a quick one this afternoon just with a little reminder for you to remember your magnificence, to find your magnificence, to go and seek out your magnificence and then do something with it. Because the more of us that are shining and sparkling and working and living in our passions, the better this world can be. And let's face it, who wouldn't want to be living in a better world, having more fun and enjoyment every single day. So that's it from me today. Super short. Have a fabulous day. And thank you for the love. Um, and I know the people that, that I, I think, the couple that are on the call right now, Colleen and Gian, I've both seen your magnificence many, many, many times. And um, Gian, I started seeing your magnificence 10 years when I first met you, maybe longer, maybe 15 years, I don't know. Anyhow, thanks so much for coming on today, Colleen and Gian. Lovely to see you both. Um, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye.